hi guys welcome to my channel so today we are making meatballs and here are our, are our ingredients we have some minced meat um guys i know sometimes getting minced meat can be a challenge sometimes uh in in some of our local butcheries we don't have it the market some of it is a bit expensive but i came to discover some that is readily available like um for example at naiva supermarket and most of our local supermarkets so where they sell where they have the cold uh, the fridges the freezers for meat you can always get this kind of pack which is cheaper than what they sell um themselves in their own butchery so um don't be afraid to make this recipe it's quite yummy it it, it just brings out the most delicious meatballs um years ago when i was just a young girl younger girl still young i guess um i i came across this recipe from a cookbook uh a, belonging to a kenyan writer and i have never looked back since because it's so so simple just um four simple ingredients everyday ingredients this is red onion um about two of them medium size chopped this is just all purpose flour um and this is some salt and your minced meat and of course you will need some oil some vegetable oil to fry and that is it um for this recipe you can also use a royco cube or a such kind of a seasoning cube if you like uh but it's all up to you but if you're not uh, a person who loves spices too much or if your family doesn't like too much of spices this will be okay okay so let's start the mixing so just three easy steps all you need to do is to mix them all up in and uh then roll the, the meatballs and then fry them three easy steps okay so let's get to it so here and sure you chop the onions um to the right size just pretty small ones so that they won't mess up they won't come out of the oil too much come out of the balls into the oil here there are about two tablespoons of flour all-purpose flour actually but i'll put two first and then some salt okay so here at the salt level you have to uh this is about half a teaspoon so depends on how salty you like it but uh, and also depends if you're adding a royco cube today i won't be adding a royco cube but if i were to add a royco cube i'd re reduce the salt level okay so you just get to mix with your hand like this until it's um a bit sticky so you just have to ensure the onions are cut really nicely small small pieces and then ensure that your meat is not frozen so if it's if you keep your meat in the freezer just let it out for some while this one is not yet ready you can see it's not that sticky so i'll have to add some all-purpose flour so i'll add about a tablespoon and see how that goes for me so what i want to achieve is a, a sticky texture okay so this recipe is so easy and it gives so delicious meatballs i know your kids or your friends or yourself or your spouse or whoever is in the house with you will love them so 
don't worry about the measurements too much if you feel it's not sticky enough you can just add just a little flat at a time adding too much flour uh, is not a good idea because it will make the meatballs uh, too dry inside and too little flour also will cause the meatball not to stick together so I don't want it to be too um, too much flour and not too little flour so just sticky enough okay then when when it's done like that then you roll the balls I hope you can see what I'm doing to roll the ball you just put some meat here in your palm depending on the size that you want and roll it this way between your palms okay and as you roll it this way I'm also controlling it using my thumb as you roll it this way you also control where the onions go and how they are placed in the meatball So this is it. See how it looks. Just a nice round ball. So I'll have them around this plate like that. So the size of your meatballs depends on what you want. For example, this one is bigger than this, as you can see. So it depends on what you like, what your family likes. Um, maybe how many people you're serving if you have many people to serve maybe you and you have just a few ingredients you could uh, uh, just make maybe smaller meatballs but guess what they're satisfying all the same so that way and so guys um, I'm in my last balls now so have to make sure that the onions settle in place properly because if they don't they keep dislodging in the hot oil so this minced meat was about uh, was 500 grams and it's given me 12 uh, medium sized meatballs this could be medium to some it could be small to some but it's a good size uh, even one being served two per plate or three per plate is okay more than that becomes too much for the tummy okay so you see this one is not rolled properly can see the onions will just split it so you have to make sure it's better than that and if there's an onion that is too much trouble you can just take it out so the seasoning is all up to you when it comes to the salt if you feel that measurement is not enough you could always add a little more but be careful not to add too much so here are my balls and some more here yeah so let's go to the frying So one tip that my mom gave me for deep frying stuff is that uh, 
it's better to use a container that is a bit deep. This helps the it helps protect you so that uh, in case the oil gets hot too hot and maybe maybe like uh, you splash a drop of water into the oil by mistake or when you put some wet food into the oil the food that you're deep frying into the oil the oil usually um it rises and if your sulfuria or your pot is too shallow the oil will rise and actually pour out into the fire and that's dangerous the size of your meatballs also determines the amount of time that you'll take to cook the meatballs because the meatballs the longer you'll need to cook them So when you put them into the sufuria, they sort of stick down there. So I'm allowing them to cook fast before I can dislodge them. Because if I try to dislodge them now, it will um, cut part of the meatball. And I don't want that to happen. So of course have uh, the receiving dish ready. And if you have some uh, paper towels or some serviettes, uh, align that dish with those so that it's ready to receive um, the meatballs and to drain the extra oil. You can see they're starting to turn golden brown. So I'll turn the meatballs so that they can cook on the lower side. Mm -hmm. You can see they're already ready. Golden brown, very nice. Except for the lower part, so we'll give it slightly. Yum. Yum, we need to go. So I noticed that my hot my oil was too hot. And I'm removing some of these onions that were left. So this is the second batch and after I put it, I put them in, after about one minute of cooking, I started turning them like this, so that they cook all round. My oil was too hot and I needed to reduce the heat, otherwise my meatballs will cook on the outside and not on the inside. So I turn them again so that the side uh, which you feel is not cooked well enough can cook better. And what we are looking for is actually a nice golden brown like this. So just a, about one or two minutes longer and then I'll take them out. So we give them time to cook until they are all round golden brown so that even when you cut it in the middle the middle part is well cooked guys my meatballs are ready so i'll just um, take them out you see how golden brown they are beautiful 
I'll just put them on these plates. Just ensure they drain out well. And then you take them out. So I'll let them drain on the plate a little bit. And then I'll show you how they look. Guys, so this is it. This is our end product. And it's well cooked on the inside. Mm, yum. Yummy? You like it? Thumbs up. Guys, for watching, I hope you will try out this recipe. Someone is really enjoying the nyanya and the nyama together. So please try it out and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload new videos. And uh, let's work together on this journey. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.